Hello, now in this section of the class we're going to learn about how to use the hyperbolic functions of the calculator. Uh, the regular sine functions, uh, trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, and their inverses uh, are printed right on the calculator face so you can get to them quickly. Uh, the hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cosine, hyperbolic tangent are not printed on the calculator so we need to dive into the menu structure to get there. Now in the last section we talked about the math menu which is second function up here and right in the middle we mentioned that the hyperbolic guy was was here. Now this is a great uh, uh, time to go ahead and, and teach hyperbolic functions primarily because you get to, to learn how to use these menus a little bit better while using a pretty you know pretty simple functions. So once you kind of know how to manipulate the menus and use the, the soft menu here you can go into the vector menu and and take the absolute value of a vector or dot two vectors together or whatever you're trying to do. So let's go back to the math menu and dive into the hyperbolic guy here. So we see that we have hyperbolic sine, and then we have the inverse hyperbolic sine, then we have the inverse cosine, inverse tangent, along with the inverse uh, hyperbolic sine and the inverse hyperbolic tangent. Uh, all right, so these are the main guys that we want to learn how to use. It basically self-explanatory. All you do is put the number on the stack and then hit the appropriate soft button here. So if we wanted to take the hyperbolic sine of 14, we put 14 on the stack, hit hyperbolic sine right here, and in this case it's going to give us an exact answer because it evaluates it, it figures out that it, it, it really can't produce an exact answer uh, easily on the screen. In other words, the answer is really a long decimal and it can't really present it exactly so it just leaves it like this. If you ever see a function return the function with something in parentheses, it's trying to tell you, look, I tried to evaluate your thing exactly and I couldn't really present it in terms of pi or something easy so I just left it alone. Um, if you ever want to get to the decimal and actually see the answer, just hit orange and then convert to number. So the answer in this case was 601302 decimal and then all this stuff. So obviously it couldn't re pre represent that in, a, uh, in, a, in an exact manner. Now if we take this number and we go and do an inverse hyperbolic sign, we should get back what we started with. So let's go ahead and hit this button right here and we get 14 back. So these guys are just like you might imagine, they're inverses of one another. You take the inverse, uh, or you take the hyperbolic sine of something, you get an answer. Whatever you get, if you take the inverse hyperbolic sine, you should go back the other direction. And the rest of these guys work exactly the same way. You know, 87, uh, take the uh, hyperbolic cosine and convert it to a decimal. It's a very large number. We take this guy and do an inverse uh, hyperbolic cosine like this. We should get back what we started with. So that about wraps it up. It's a very simple concept. I just wanted to show you how to use the soft button. They basically function just like other buttons on the calculator. You know, if you're going to take the sine of 8, you need to push it on the stack and hit the sine of 8 like this, right? Because we're in RPN mode. Whatever we're operating on has to be on the stack, or it needs to be in the scratch line. So for instance, if we wanted to do 13, we don't have to hit enter. We can just hit t hyperbolic tangent. Even though it's not quite on the stack, it knows to operate on the scratch pad line entry there. And so it'll give you a hyperbolic tangent of 13 uh, there. And so all of these guys work the same way. Just the same way as a button on the calculator is just printed up here and you use the F keys uh, to get to them. So what I encourage you to do is go play around a little bit with the math menu. We're, we are definitely going to dive into these functions over the, over the uh, course of these lessons that we're uh, doing together. But my job is to kind of go and teach the most common, the most important things first because that's what people are going to need help with the most. Um, but certainly, if you really need to learn how to, how to uh, uh, convert from hex to something else, go into the base menu and play around with it. Uh, if you're really dealing with vectors right now, go into the vector menu and deal with it. You, you kind of already know how to use the calculator. You just may not have the confidence to know for sure if you're doing it right. But these soft menus are there for you to use. So go into the math menu, play around with them. We will get to them in the course of our lessons together as well to get more concrete and detailed examples to really show you how to use the calculator.